Hey guys, it's Dear Natural 62. Um, I'm coming today to talk about finance because I think finance is a big topic that I've spoken to personal friends about, family, and I've always been big about. Um, you don't know this, but I do have a finance background and it started even with high school. Like I went to a business high school that specialized in business and training us and ever since then you know I caught the bud the bug for loving money and managing money and saving money and getting everything I want you know you see all these girls living like the life on Instagram and social media and stuff but in actuality a lot of these people are living like I like to say living rich poor which means they buy the flashy things they have all the nice things, the latest things, latest makeup and everything, but their credit is bad. They don't have a dime in the bank. They don't know what a bank account is. And I don't want you to fall into these pitfalls of looking at like flashy things and thinking that, oh, they have the life. No, they don't. I'll let you know that right now. No, they don't. But I want you to. I want you to take control of your finance and I want you to understand and learn how to manage your finance. And I stumbled across this great site called Credit Sesame. Um, you can get your credit score 100% free. And But the thing about it is it's not just only about that. The great thing about the credit score, I'll talk about that a little bit, is... One, you want to get your credit score because you want to know what your score is because that's the only way you can improve it. But the other great thing is you want to look at it and see if there's any mistakes on there because a lot of times there are mistakes on there that you have to dispute. But you won't know that until, let's say, you want to apply for a credit card or you want to apply like to, for a loan for a car or a house and you're like, well, why did I get denied? Why do I keep getting rejected? Because something on your credit report is actually showing that they're like this person is not a safe candidate to loan money to so you need to like see the report and manage it through that and see what's going on but the great thing i've learned about credit sesame is that it's not just about credit score you know that's the great starting point but they also have tips on helping you manage your finance and also credit analysis to help you like really look at your finances and see how and where you're spending too much or how to control it, how to get things under wrap. You know, a lot of people don't know this. They'll have like five credit card bills and they're just like thinly stretched across trying to pay off everything. The best thing I would suggest you do is look at the interest rate on all of those credit cards and see who has the highest interest rate and try to get rid of that card. Like try to pay that off, you know. But anybody living like minimum or check to check, you're always going to be in debt. I'm sorry to say, you're always going to be in debt because you're always going to be playing that catch-up game. And I think the best thing to do is look at a site like Credit Sesame and see how you can manage your finances better. So you need to keep an eye on your finances and try to get control of your life, you know, through those means. You know, financial freedom, there's nothing like it. Like, knowing that you can pick up the phone from a number you don't know because you're not afraid that it's not, a like, a creditor asking you to pay a bill. Like, you know, you've defaulted on a loan or anything. You're just not afraid of these things anymore. You want that peace of mind. So, starting out with a site like Credit Sesame, first get your credit report. Number one, so you got to know the score, got to know what's on your credit report, make sure everything is correct, because sometimes there are mistakes. I like to keep my finances under wrap and in control. So that's another reason I liked Credit Sesame, because they have great tips on how to manage your finance. Just definitely go to the website, check it out. I'll put the link down below for you. And, you know, take control of your finance. Because if you want to be like those Instagrammers and social medias, you know, flaunting everything they have, which is great. But just make sure you have the money to back it up. Just make sure that you're not living check to check. Make sure that your finances are in order. That when you're ready to buy a house, it's not then you're scrambling and talking about, oh my God, I got to do this, I got to do that. No, take control of that now. And don't fall in the loophole because, you know, school's about to start. People are going to college. Don't fall into the loophole like a lot, many of us have, where you see those little cute little tables 
with the free mugs and the free cups and all of this. And you're like, I got to apply for a credit card. I got to do this. And then not know anything about finance. <laughs> so I tell people this all the time. Learn about finance before you put yourself in those situations. Because I remember even, you know, I used to work at a department store and before I became a manager in that department store I worked the cash register and you know one part of the job was helping people open up charge cards trying to convince them to open up charge cards and I tried to give them a little education at the same time as opening because I wanted to be responsible in that sense but you would hear what people would say they're like oh I just got a proof of $500 so I'm gonna spend $500 I was like whoa 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 you just got approved for $500. You know you have to pay that $500 back, right? Oh, not today. I'm like, I already see that person walking away. And in my mind, I'm like, they have the wrong mindset. Because this is, ex I use my charge cards the same way I use my credit cards. If I bought that dress for $150, I know I have the $150. So when the bill comes, I might split that in half and do two payments just to show a little history and keep it moving. Um, but if you're thinking like credit is, you know, this magical amount of money that's being flowed your way and that you don't have to pay it back in a timely manner, you don't have to be responsible for it, you're delusional. I'll tell you that right now. You're delusional. So, hop on a site like www.creditsesame.com, check out your credit score, find out what it is. You know, credit scores are devised by three different credit reports. You know, find out what that is, double check, make sure everything is correct on there, then start managing it. Start, you know, doing the things that you need to do to improve it. Because the better your score is, when it's time to apply for a car loan, buy a house or something, you're not concerned. You're not going into that finance meeting like, oh my God, what are they going to find when they pull my report? E You're not going to be the, one of those people. You're going to be confident and be like, listen, I know my score is 750 and I know all my credit is on point. Everything is straight. We're going to have a 30-day close because I'm good like that. That's the way you want to walk into meetings, especially meetings financial. So, like I said, if you're not looking at your finance, who's looking at it? You know, like, let's take responsibility for our finances. I hope this video was helpful. I have so many tips. So if you're interested in more finance videos like how to save, how to build your credit score, how to get out of debt, how to pay off your debt quicker, definitely let me know in the comment section. I hope you guys enjoy this. Again, it's Dear Natural 62 don't forget to subscribe, you know, so you can get more of these type of videos. And definitely, thank you for watching, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school.